it is the flip where we take very hard sides on very nuanced topics that uh, are difficult, but it certainly is uh, enter entertaining here. And today we're going to jump into Tesla Robo Taxis. Kicked off here in Austin, uh, delayed a few cars out there. There's been a lot of Robo Taxi settings out, out there. But the question for the flip here is, are Tesla robo taxis, let's say in the next 12 months, are they game changing or is this just another hype cycle from the king of hype, Elon Musk himself? Let's flip the coin. All right, Dan, you're basically a, an Elon Musk lover here. And this is game changing in the last 12 months. Dive in, Dave. Just like Musk knows we need to cut spending um, this industry needs to evolve, needs to innovate, and let's take the biggest uh, input that makes transportation too expensive. And you and I both know, you go to New York, you go two blocks in an Uber and it's 60 bucks. Um, let's make it cheaper. And one of the best ways to do that is to take out the biggest cost input. This is thematic throughout our show, Pat, but this isn't just about taking out that labor input. This is also about safety. Uh, we already know full self-driving is much safer than humans. We already know that Waymo and others have proven in our own very town here in Austin that driverless vehicles can safely deliver a, a tremendous high quality service. It can take people within uh, certain um, communities and with restrictions, geofenced restrictions. But over the next 12 months, I think within those restrictions, within those, this is game changing. Tesla's got cars, you heard me say it just in the last segment, coming off the line, being delivered to people's homes, with no driver required. That's where we are at in this world. We are going to see more driverless. We're seeing it already in our town. And Pat, uh, us, uh, you know, Tesla has hundreds and hundreds of millions of real world miles that it's been able to get because it's had the distribution, something that Waymo and others don't have. So while Waymo has chosen the multi-sensor, hundreds of thousands of dollars per vehicle, Tesla's doing it with 20 something thousand dollar, 30 something thousand dollar vehicles that can be delivered at scale, reducing cost inputs, Within these geofence communities, people want it, people love it. Tesla, super fans. And now that Musk is out of DC, he's getting more of his fans back. Um, and this thing is absolutely going to take off. You could see it during the launch. You could see the interest in it. You can see the enthusiasm in it. This is good for business. It's good for labor. It's good for, it's not good for labor for people. It's good for the business and it's good for the cost inputs and it's good for the profits. This thing is absolutely gonna go city to city to city. It might take a little more time. That's pretty common in Musk's, but it's an absolute game changer. I'm all in. This is a big upside for the Tesla's name, the Tesla stock, and Tesla's future. Yeah, I mean, Elon Musk has never hit a date he's ever put out there, ever, right? We're talking about the next year here. He might get it right, I don't know, three, four, five years from now. But essentially, he chose the wrong platform to do full auto. You can't do full auto just with cameras. It's like saying that humans and their eyes are the best. Well, humans can't see through fog. They can't see through rain. They can't see very well in darkness. Uh, and a camera, as we can see with our smartphone, uh, it does a decent job in the dark, but it can't see through fog. It can't see through rain. It can't see through snow. So it's going to be very limited. And the data does show that self-driving uh, is more, sorry, robotic driving is, is, is better than humans. But when you parse out um, drunk people, when you parse out tired people, and I would say reasonable people who aren't taking risks, I, I just don't believe that that this is is the case, and um, even if even if it were Daniel, it it doesn't matter because the first person that gets killed with a robo taxi, um, it's going to come to a screeching a screeching halt. And you know, check out my ex, my son, right? And he's used FSD for ten thousand miles. I couldn't even get a lane change correct, and it. You know, thank goodness he didn't hit a brick wall or a brick abutment. He ended up hitting these uh, plastic paddles that ripped off his 
unused radar sensor and scratch the side of a car, but um, what's going to happen when it hits hits a child or you know it takes out a a bicycle uh, or or something like that? And this is where the uh, gap of I'll call it accuracy uh, dials dials in. Let's just say it gets ninety nine point nine percent that 0.01 of, you know, plowing into a human being uh, either on the highway or, or something like that, it's going to come to a screeching halt. And, and I do want to talk about scale. Like some people think Tesla was the first tech out there for this. It wasn't. Uh, Google has been working on this technology five to 10 years before Tesla even, even did that. And they are fully robotic driving in Phoenix, San Francisco, LA, Austin, Atlanta, Georgia, are about to launch Miami, DC, New York, Tokyo. Uh, and you have four cars uh, doing minimal rides here in Austin, Texas. I just don't think that in a year it's going to be game changing or impact anything that Waymo uh, slash Google is is doing is doing out there. So, yeah, I mean, once again, we've got another debate that 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 I won, and this was uh, this one this one was an easy one. Question I have for all of you out there is: Would you put uh, your family, uh, your dearest friends, your parents, in a uh, in a robo taxi uh, today? Thank you very much. Same question. You got to ask about some of the Uber drivers that have committed murders and have, uh, you know, killed people and that, you know, there's all kinds of track records on that. Heck, I've been in cars with you. I've been, I've been in cars with you that I'm scared, you know, I'm not talking about Ubers. I'm talking about when you drive. So, you know. Yeah, you're, I mean, at least, uh, at least we know evil, right? When I, I mean, I, I went around that track with you and I watched you take those corners so slowly. I almost killed myself. <laughs> you, know, you understand? How could you take the back straight at, 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 at Coda? You know, at, were you pushing the car or were you actually pushing the gas? Were you behind it? I don't know. Anyway, I'm just I mean, the back I straight, I was doing over 150. So that yeah. was not the issue. It was yeah. a slight was uh, the turns? chicane at the end. The chicane. All right. Well, it's scary at that speed, y'all. Um, thanks for letting me win again, Pat. Yeah. No, I appreciate uh, you always teeing yourself up so I can walk all over you. I do appreciate It's important that, that uh, the world knows who the better debater is. I got a B plus in debate back in college.